It's a breakfast club, bitches. Donkey of the day with Charlemagne the God. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. Donkey of the day for Thursday, April 20th, 420. goes to an unnamed Orlando man, okay? But if y'all know his name, please let me know because I can update this story later because this story pissed me off. Why? Because I got four daughters, okay? Ages 14, 7, 4, and about 18 months. So even my children... Okay, so even though my children are pretty good on flights, all right, there's times where, of course, they have cried on planes. I'm mm-hmm. sure your kids have cried on a plane before, Envy, right? Absolutely. Why? Because that's what babies do. They can't communicate. They don't know how to use their words because they don't know how to talk yet. So they cry to let you know they want something, whether it's food, sleep, hell. Maybe on a plane, their little ears are popping. And they don't know what else to do because they don't know what they are experiencing. Okay, but I was reading the New York Post today and I saw the headline man on Orlando flight throws a fit over crying baby. F that. That's literally the headline. It's got the F that in there and everything. See, this man was on a Southwest Airlines flight, a.k.a. his first mistake. Oh, that's where it was right there. Mm, mm, mm. Southwest Airlines ain't nothing but a Greyhound bus in the sky. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to do Greyhound like that, okay? Southwest Airlines ain't nothing but a Peter Pan bus, a Marta bus in the sky, okay? And ghetto is as ghetto does. And if you ain't never been to the ghetto, don't ever come to the ghetto because you wouldn't understand the ghetto, so stay the F out of the ghetto. Now, replace ghetto with Southwest, and it's the same damn thing, okay? And this video that went viral is proof of that because this unidentified man on this Southwest flight to Orlando is upset that a baby is crying on the plane. Listen to this fool. We're not in Florida yet. We need to call uh, You can't do what the I was sleep the whole time. You never served me anything. I try to keep my calm, but if I wasn't on this plane, I would be. Because there's a child crying on the flight non fing stop. That's what's happening. Can you lower that voice? No, let's not. No, 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 no. No, let's be rational. Hold on, hold on. You want to be rational? No, 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 no. Don't tell me what you're I know. Let's be rational. We are in. We are in a. In tin can with a baby okay. in a goddamn okay. echo chamber, okay. and you want to talk to me about being okay? Okay, okay because you're, you're yelling. So That's is the baby. baby. Okay, so you're a man. <laughs> Did that motherfucker you're pay man. extra to you? So, okay, no. First Whoa. of all, first of all. He said you're yelling, so is the all, baby. Let's not even get to that part yet. First of all, I know you ain't complaining about not being served nothing on the Southwest flight. I know, I know you're not complaining about not being served nothing on the Southwest flight. Second of all, you can't be upset that a baby is throwing a fit and then throw a fit like a baby. Okay, the actual baby is just doing what actual babies do. That baby had a reason to be crying and throwing a fit. The reason is because it's a baby. But what's your problem, sir? The flight attendant told you you are a man and you are indeed a man, unless, of course, you identify as a baby, which could possibly be the case because it is 2023. But for you to be upset that a baby is crying on a plane, I'm really starting to wonder what's up with y'all empathy. Okay, yes, a baby is crying on a plane. That's normal. Okay, but mind your business. A baby just can't stop crying on demand. And a parent can't make a baby stop crying on demand. Okay, you got to figure out what's wrong with the baby and then you handle it. That's the way it works. And then you got the nerve to say that that baby pay extra to cry. Mm. Probably because it's Southwest, all right? But that is also why you really 100% grade A sucker in my book because you would not try any other baby like that, okay? Not little baby. Not Sada Baby, especially not the Baby. The Baby would smack fire out you. And Birdman Baby, the number one stunner, he you would put all respect on his name, so stop mm-hmm. playing. Okay? And the main reason I don't like this story, the main reason you get in the biggest hee-haw is be- because it, it feels like it's a man picking on a woman flying by herself. Because if that woman was with her husband or it was a husband traveling alone with one of his babies, which I've done, you wouldn't play with that man like that. And you damn sure wouldn't play with that woman if she was with her man. This is how the convo would have went on Southwest if she was with her baby father. Let's be rational. We are in, we are in a f***ing tin can with a baby okay. in a goddamn okay. echo chamber yeah. and you want to talk to me about being Okay. Y'all is gonna die in the hood. You lived your whole life broke. You ain't shit. Did that motherfucker pay extra to you? Suck my d-. Y'all ain't gonna never make it out the hood. 
That's right. That's going to die, bro. That's right. That's right. Yep. Big soldier boy, SMD energy. Suck my D from the back like a pacifier. Who the baby now? Jesus. Okay? I'll have you crying uncontrollably. You'll be begging me to burp you. All right? Do a whole rectal temperature check on you. The moral of the story is leave mothers and their babies alone. Okay? Trust me, the only thing you should be doing when you see mothers attempting to mother in public is mind your business. Please give this unidentified man that was on this Southwest Airlines flight to Orlando really being a baby, the biggest he Mm-hmm. That rectal temperature check got you excited? I mean, don't excite somebody with a good time. You know, oh. no, he might like it. But anyway, you want to play a game? No, I don't want to play a game. <laughs> you want to play a game? Why you don't mm-hmm. want to play a game? Because the credits is rolling on BET right now. <laughs> the credits are rolling on BET. The credits rolling right now. You want to play a game? Mm-mm. Okay. I don't want to play a game. All right. Mm-mm. What do you think he is? What do I think he is? Mm-hmm. Well, I saw the video, so I know what he is. Mm. What is he? A nigga baby. <laughs> you know what? All right. Thank you for the donkey of the day. Shout to BET. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Donkey of the day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.